Hey you, thank you for clicking this video. This is Serene Lazelle and welcome to my channel. This channel is about perfume reviews, hauls, verses, and all that perfume jazz, plus a little bit of skincare and motherhood. So if you like that jazz, please click the like and do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as a bonus. another a perf affordable perfume haul and I know last time I did a haul from Demeter um, brand um, and uh, now <laughs> because I have purchased a, 120, a lot of 120 ml bottle that I regret so I will purchase now a 10 ml bottle from a, the house of perfume dessert uh, I have only learned this one recently when I have read, uh, I, I mean I have watched the YouTube uh, from a uh, uh, Philippine artist because this is a actually exclusively from the Philippines which but the product itself is from a formulator from London so this is Perfume Dessert London as well as this is uh, like Chen Transry House, Transylvania, London, UK, and it's an all the parfum fragrance, and it it made me curious about the different um, fragrances from this house. So I have um, purchased, and since I'm a little wiser now, I only purchase an ml, <laughs> and I do decide which is a full bottle worth and just quick though uh, pros for this one I have I've been enjoying their uh, 10ml because look at this it's a very um, even though if it's only 10ml 10, 10 this is 10ml even if it's only 10ml um, perfume it's very usable and friendly, pocket friendly as well. What I like about it is I only put it in my pocket and every time because I cannot, uh, I don't need to go to the washroom to, you know, to spray this one if I think that I need a touch on for this one. So I will just spray whenever and wherever I want it to spray. So that's a that's a nice thing to say about the perfume dessert. So let's talk about uh, their scent. So they have categorized their perf um, their perfume range from a gourmand, which they are well known of. Then the Hennessy, which I think is marketed more adult um, focus <laughs> or marketed for adults. And uh, next is the um, Astral Edition and I s they have said the Astral Edition is somewhat uh, dupe for famous um, fragrances so yeah I have only bought a few ones and where do we start? I think we should start with the Gourmand which they are well known of and I have searched in their website that the most uh, Per, a famous product or famous uh, fragrance from them is the Sakura Sakura Eau de Parfum and the Cotton Candy Unicorn Parfum. So let's open the Sakura first. And don't bother because uh, all my reviews from perfumes I have been getting in the freegrandica.com but unfortunately perfume dessert is not there so I don't know what I like about this one is that the, the, bo the box design is well it will coincide with the bottle itself and which is kind of cute for me okay I will only spray in the cup and even though it's like this, the spray is not uh, low quality. I can tell you, I really like the atomizer. But the cap, I don't like because I'm 
I think it will bend easily if so you be careful with the cap. Of course, yeah. With the relation to cherry blossom, this is seem, uh, this is somewhat close to a cherry blossom scent. I have a sakura from the Maroon and uh, Elizabeth Arden uh, sakura uh, cherry blossom as well. But I think I this one will compete to those two. I really like this one. It's so uh, yeah, it's pungent, strong. Longevity for this one, I think it will like reach two three hours. It's not that much, but I mean two to three hours it will be skin scent already, but it's still there, you know. And kudos for it for being an old perfume. And this is a very affordable price. So I like this one. This is close to a um, cherry blossom scent. And uh, yeah, this is a lady leather, <laughs> lady, lady perfume. So don't um, bother to try this if for a man. Next is a can cotton candy unicorn. This one. I like the the uh, the design of this one. It's very pink. Uh, my favorite color is pink and this one is very nice okay I don't have a much success with the cotton candy from the meter this is this is not cotton candy as well I smell I smell fruity in this one like a plum or something, like a pear, and like from yeah, as it dries down, it smells like a red lipstick, you know. Don't get me wrong, it's still. I mean, all of perfume London is very um, like it has a good smell on it, but yeah, being in their name as cotton candy. It's not cotton candy for me, it's not for a month. It's more of a fruity, fruity, fruity perfume scent. I can smell pear on this one. Yeah. I don't know why it's cotton candy unicorn. Yeah. This one is a very, um, this is a teenager perfume for me. More fit than a teenager, it is one of our college ones. Because the dry down of this one is a little bit like I don't know if, if it has peony as well, but it more leans to an adult uh, perfume or like an old thirties, twenties, thirties. Next is the apple pomegranate salad. I haven't tried the real apple pomegranate. I like apple, so I hope it will be. Mm. I didn't um, send the apple immediately, but as it dried down, yeah, I can have the hint of that apple. Pomegranate? I don't know. For even the pomegranate. Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is coming. Mm -hmm. But this one has a citrusy feeling on it. Sweet citrus, you know? And it's nice. Actually, I think I like this one out of all the three gourmand. Uh, yeah, I think this very nice in summer or heat or high humidity places I think that's why this is like um, you know this one because this is well uh, fit for the Philippines because of the high humidity and high heat there this is very nice and that was wet and 
Philippines weather. So those are the three gourmand uh, perfumes I have from Perfume Wizard. Uh, I love the apple pomegranate and then the sakura and then this is the cotton candy unicorn. This is more towards an adult one. I prefer this one. I haven't, I haven't uh, watched or saw anyone have a review on this one. But I really like this one. Citrusy, good for summer. And you know that you will not um, you will enjoy it. Anyway, next one is the Hennessy edition. And let me start with the one um, from the the one favorite of Ivana Alawi. <laughs> the famous actress in our country. It has said that this this is the plum and black locust. It has a red plum. Oh, why can't I open it? Florals, green notes, and honey. Oh, really? And I kind of uh, like the design of their Hennessy edition. It's more like lady-like, not teenager. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting? It smells like uh, somewhat uh, uh, rum like, you know, for me. I don't know if it's maybe gin and tonic like that. But the plum, the sweetness, and the fruitiness, it, the green notes. No. <laughs> Only the plum and somewhat floral in this one sweet but not sickening sweet but if it's high heat and uh, you like your sweaty this will not be good because I think it will be when it is mixed to your skin or your sweat it will more contribute to have a body odor <laughs> that this kind of scent but it's very good it's nice sexy and sophisticated now I know why this is the favorite of Miss Ivana Lavi next one is the peony and red apples I, oh, I like I ordered this one because as I have mentioned I really like red apple but this has a peony jasmine and powdery sweet mm, yeah really powdery this is good for the titas, you know, <laughs> to the older ones, 30s, 40s, yeah, peony, peony is here, hello people, peony is here, the old, the sandbag jasmine, it smells like oil, you know, it's granny for me, I cannot smell apple in this one, Unfortunately, I didn't like this. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. So peony and red apples and plum and black locus for the Hennessy edition. Next is the Estrel edition, which is the tooth perfume. They uh, the first one is the dainty. I like the box of the Estrel edition because it's somewhat like like here, this one dainty and this one is whimsy there's a unicorn in this one so like kid like and they said dainty is close to bulgari omnia and this this one is oh sorry i don't have uh, omnia yet so i cannot attest if this is the same same one but i love this one what is this? Dainty. Oh. This is good. I think if you will choose uh, between the lines, choose the astral, astral line, the astral edition. So nice. Floral. It's, it smells like white floral with powdery scent to it. It's 
lovely. It's very light, inoffensive. The baby. You know, this is very appropriate for work, an office, and a Sunday church perfume. <laughs> a dress like perfume, I can say. It's very, it's very nice, this one. It's sweet if you want white florals, if you like white florals. Oh, I don't know because I don't have the, the notes of this one, but what I get in here is definitely white floral plus a powdery powdery but light powder powdery scent i like this one it's so like out of the shower scent as well it's so nice thank you this is my favorite i think i have said that from the first time. next is the whimsy see is a dupe for the Encanto Show from Salvatore Ferricano. It has notes of peony as well. Okay, where did I put it? Sorry, I'm just putting it in Love the dainty. <coughs> I cannot stop talking about it. Anyway, I think I will put cheese and onion now. I will check if this is really a dupe for that. Please do comment for those of you who have an omnia. This is floral, but I can't. Maybe jasmine or like ilang, like ilang ilang, ilang ilang is what they said. As I get in here, but other than that, yeah, I think an earthy, earthy something, peony, not that much. Yeah, I can, I can sense the background, but it's like a supporting role only the peony. Rinse you, right? It did. Like, I'm already scratching my head with this one. Because the scent on your skin and the scent on the bottle, or maybe in the, on the paper, is different. It's much better in here. Yeah. When it was sprayed in my skin, the scent. Is easily gone, but yeah, like jasmine and ilang ilang. I can say, mm. but here there is still some sweetness in here, like a vanilla. Maybe it differs from uh, if you spray it in your skin or in the other other people's skin, because it's it's very good when you sniff on that perfume bottle. But I don't know, my skin maybe is making something <laughs> having a problem on its own. But otherwise, Wimsy is new. We, relative to the Encanto, I only have the Encanto blush. I don't, I don't have the Encanto show. But it's very nice. I think it has the Encanto DNA. So we. Encanto show? Encanto shine? Encanto shine! Oh my god, what a show! Hello. Yeah, I think it's somewhat close. It. I have seen the Encanto shine before. I think it, it is, but I have forgot already. I only have the Encanto bloom. Sorry. Oh, I do have the other one, the Amber and Bluebell. This is a watermelon honeydew candy. It is a musk bluebell uh, with amber, and it smells like Kenzel blue combined with peony uh yeah amber and bluebell 
I like this one. I only have the roller ball. I think this is only five dollar because it's only freebie for me. But yeah, I like this one. They said it's uh, nice to layer with peony and red apple. Where's my peony and red apple? The one that I didn't like before. really smells good for me. I don't know why. What happened? No. I'd rather choose to use it alone. This um, perfume. But other than that, I don't I don't like the combination. Because I don't really like it the red apple really. This one is the cucumber melon cooler this one I like because I have a uh, cucumber um, perfume from the Bath and Body um, Eau de Toilette I think I remember that one and it's a it's a hit it's very famous from our work from my workmates before a lot of them purchased that one from Bath and Body what I don't like with Bath and Body their perfume range before it was discontinued immediately you know I had the irresistible apple and I have only I have uh, I didn't have the chance to purchase my second bottle with that I think because they have discontinued it and that's the only perfume that I have that has a really <laughs> unusual like um, experience with that because my co-worker never stopped like sniffing me when when she uh, had smelled my perfume she will really cling on me and really sniff and in a very friendly way <laughs> but sometimes irritating me no no I, I that is my like a real friend best friend on that time and yeah, it, she really likes that perfume, and it made me it made me feel co um, confident in that perfume as well. Because at, initially I didn't like that uh, perfume, but when uh, the dry down and when I have it, it grows. It it has grown on me, and it really <laughs> heartbreak me. Uh, yeah, and my heart was really broken when I found out that they're not selling it anymore. You know, yeah, and anyway, go back to perfume sir. This cucumber melon cooler is very identical to the cucumber uh, perfume from Bath and Body. And this is nice. This is very, very nice in summer. It ha It's really... A cucumber straightforward cucumber perfume which I like if you like cucumber uh, perfume you will really love this one and I think I have tested it uh, as well this has a great this has great longevity with me uh, than the amber and bluebell but I love the amber and bluebell as well I don't know why I didn't purchase them but yeah, it's nice. It's a nice bonus and thank you for Louis, the one who uh, I have bought this perfume dessert here in the car. So, so yeah. Oh my god, Dainty is so nice. Yeah, you see? You see my face because whenever I am sniffing a powdery scent. Oh my god. This is heavenly. Dainty. You may guess what I will purchase a uh, whole bottle will be. Dainty. You are the one, Dainty. Oh my god, this is somewhat similar to my. You know, my Juliet has a gun and uh, my Tom Ford Solid Blanc. But don't be so. Your expectation don't be so high. Huh? 
it's only from the middle part of it. Someone has that vibe. And like a baby powder. <laughs> Scent like that. Ah, I like this one. So yeah, that will be my haul and my thoughts about a perfume dessert. So if you have your own um, thoughts about perfume dessert, please click like. Uh, Please click like with that. Um, do a comment below. Let's do have a conversation about perfume dessert. dessert. I think uh, as a brand, I like them because when I first sniff on this one, it really it brings back memories because what uh, I have sniffed on when I was a teenager, when I was in uh, primary school, intermediate, <laughs> those school, schooling days, is like this. This is the kind of perfume that I like uh, when I was younger and when I, when I have smelled on this perfume, it really brings back those memories and it brings back my childhood. So this is what is uh, lovely for uh, in having and liking perfumes because it really um, incorporates memories. And, and that's what it is. That's why we are doing this. So yeah, and um, as I said, this is uh, exclusively for Philippines and I was really um, amazed because this is, I think, is very appropriate in the climate of, and the weather of the Philippines, which is very nice. And this is a very lovely perfume and I highly recommend it to my friends over there. And so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.